Greetings and welcome to Pertana Monsters League of Legends Top 5 Place, Episode 63. Be sure to stay until the very end to hear some important announcements regarding some changes to our schedule along with some other things. At number 5, we have Cryptic Recoil playing a champion we don't see in our show that often, Cho'Gath. And at the start of this play, a ward is placed at Baron and he sees the opportunity flashing in a feast stealing Baron right before Udyr could even smite it. Rather than giving up, he fights it out, landing a silence on 4 and a rupture on 3, which buys just enough time for his team to rush in and help him out. What I really liked about this play, besides how well executed and timed it was, is that he didn't give up right away and instead tried to delay his death as long as he could so that his team could come in. For that, he earns the number 5 spot, ace, and game for his team. Scoring in at 4th place is extracted on Fiora, and currently she's dealing with 3 bottom lane. Zix pushes for some damage, but she tries to scare him off, but then the enemy nearly jumps down and she decides to fight it, dealing huge damage and killing her with Ignite, as Ramus flashes but falls as well. And then she switches to the full health Zix, parrying his attacks, and then he ults, so she's gonna quickly flash out, escaping death, and then turns around to pick up the triple kill. She's got the moves. Coming in at our number 3 spot is SWI, 3TR, or Sweeter on Annie. And right off the bat, Wukong dives on the tower, she cuts him back while dealing heavy damage, and then she throws her timbers, hitting him really hard as he tries to run, but the tower finishes him off. Now switching focus to Ken, and she stuns a mid-lightning rush and just barely manages to get her W off before he flashes, as the tower gets a double kill. Brand decides it's time to bail and takes off into the jungle, but she gets disintegrate off for the triple, and finally we wrap it up with Malphite for the quad. Anyone else? Landing in at second place for this week is Easy Sick Motion playing Sivir on his other account, Noidum. We go straight into the battles, the enemy team face checks, and instantly the fight starts as Sivir hits four players with her Q, forcing a bunch of summoners. Soon it starts to get very low and she backs off, so Noidum's gonna follow her back, but then he turns to get on Wukong, granting first blood. Sivir continues to keep her distance and sees the enemy sound getting low, so she uses Boomerang Blade followed by an auto attack for the double and then turns to Skarner for the triple. With the advantage, she extends out now getting on the enemy carry and applying pressure, forcing her to run away, but with some chasing and a flash, she secures the quadra. Finally, we come to Tark who surely will escape. Nope, with another great Boomerang Blade and some help from Sona, they secure the level 1 pentakill and ace. Good luck, Tristana. And for our number one pro play for this week, we have Katamari on a Moo Moo. And right from the start, we see he's in trouble as the enemy team is chasing him down, slowly whittling down his health. We know where to run to. He takes a glance at his map and sees Lee Sin running by Dragon as he disappears. And then the clutch. A blind bandage house right before death using nothing but predicting Lee Sin's movements to go through the wall and then dodging his Q and flashing out the other end. We fast forward it as he is still in danger, but on top of all the great map awareness, timing, jukes, and skill that Moo Moo has, he also has world class baiting skills that lead to Lee Sin's demise. Well played. And the winner of this week's player's choice is Noob Tiss on York with a thousand plus deaths and counting. As a clip plays, I just want to announce a few things. First off, our Fry's Prize segment, which is supposed to be for releasing the names of all the winners of the Razor Gear, has been switched over to Facebook. Fry's Prize normally hits around 30,000 views, and there are people who win Razor Gear, then never watch it and don't respond to our messages on YouTube, but they continue to like our normal top five plays, so we know they're active people. With this being said, we feel that the show isn't serving its purpose, which is to announce the winners and what they've won, so we're switching to Facebook for all announcements. I encourage everyone to like our Facebook so that you don't miss any announcements such as events going on, who won what, and any issues or delays to our normal segments. It will all be posted there every time. The other thing I wanted to announce is that Brandon and I will be going away tomorrow for the next 10 days as we are going to England. We didn't want to go MIA for a week and a half and not say anything like last time and we also didn't want people waiting for Friday's episode because they submitted a clip and then all of a sudden a week and a half goes by and nothing. So with this being said, we worked a bit ahead into things and might have a single top 5 plays while we're gone and we will continue to put up player's choice for you so that we can give you guys something. While we're gone, our crew members will be continuing to watch for replays so that when we get back, we can get right back into things for that Tuesday's episode. We are sorry that we were unable to prep a bunch of episodes ahead of time. We have a huge quantity of clips, but we don't want to sacrifice any quality for episodes just to get them out. To wrap things up, I'd like to say go right now and check Facebook.com slash Potato Monster to see if you're a random subscriber winner. Don't be that person that doesn't answer. If you aren't, then like the page anyways, because every month we will post a new list in addition to everything else we already post. We hope everyone enjoyed this episode, and we wish everyone a wonderful spring break and weekend coming up.
enemy penta kill. An enemy is legendary. An enemy is legendary. Enemy Pentakill.